A local burger restaurant under fire after six people were hospitalized for listeria and three others died. Today, a second family has filed a lawsuit against Frugals. Well, this case involving a woman who was winning her fight against cancer but nearly died after eating a milkshake. Now, they join a Thurston County widow. She wants Frugals to be held responsible for her husband's death. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman joins us live from the newsroom. And Ali, you spoke to the person who's representing these folks. I did, and I can tell you he's no stranger to foodborne illness cases. He's the same man who represented families in the Jack in the Box E. coli outbreak during the 90s. He says he wants to find out why this happened to prevent it from happening to even more families. All six people had a common denominator. That, that listeria came was the same place was that fingerprint, just like in a criminal case. A big sorry, no shakes, now welcomes drive through customers at Frugal's off Pacific Avenue in Tacoma. You know, we've got three dead people in the state of Washington and three people who nearly died because they ate uh, a milkshake. Department of Health investigators traced the specific strain of listeria in Frugal's ice cream machines, which they say were not cleaned properly. Health officials say the infections happened between February 27th and July 22nd, but listeria can sicken people up to 70 days after they've been exposed. And unfortunately, they didn't stop selling shakes until August 8th. So we've got unfortunately some time to wait to see if others get sick. Bill Marler represents two families suing frugals for negligence and wrongful death, among other allegations, after their loved ones fell ill. The attorney says Charles Roberson had at least one milkshake from this Frugals between March and April. A lawsuit filed Monday says Roberson was hospitalized in early May. He had surgery and was transferred to a rehab center where his health allegedly deteriorated. Documents say he died of listeria complications, leaving behind his wife Linda of 45 years. You know, she's lost the love of her life and I think it's it's pretty tough and I think most most of the public can understand that and how just sad it is that this company didn't do a better job of simply cleaning their milkshake machines. The alleged lack of cleanliness made Chung Garbino so sick her family had to call 911 for help six days after having a milkshake on June 6th according to documents. For Mrs. Garbino and you know, she was 79 years old, uh, successfully weathered cancer treatment. And, you know, her daughters were getting her a treat, a vanilla shake, and it nearly killed her. He says her age and compromised immune system from chemo and radiation, making it hard for her to recover. Her daughters now caring for her round the clock as the bacteria has taken a toll on her. I certainly hope the best for her. The family-owned business previously said, we are heartbroken and deeply regret any harm our actions could have caused. Frugals has and will continue to fully cooperate with and support this ongoing investigation. They said out of abundance of caution, they stopped milkshake sales at all of their locations. Now, health officials say most people who eat contaminated food will not get seriously sick, but pregnant women, those 65 or older, and those with weakened immune systems should call their doctor if they had a milkshake anytime between the May 29th and August 7th. Fox 13 reached out to Frugals tonight in light of the new, the new lawsuit filed today and are waiting to hear back. Back to you.